Tonight, only on Fox, treating injury without pain relievers, without opioids. Something that's already happening, and it's happening right here in Arizona. Doctors using local stem cell-based products, and they're helping patients recover faster, sometimes without surgery, without injuries and pain that would take months to recover from before. Now it only takes weeks or days. Some people call him the miracle of our generation. I believe it is. Dr. Richard Jacoby is a foot and ankle specialist at the Extremity Health Centers in Scottsdale. So what we have here today is a young girl who has chronic and recurring plantar fasciitis. Surgery, drugs, and non-evasive therapies have been part of his toolbox for years. And now he has something new. And we're going to inject that into the plantar fascia. Dr. Jacoby is giving his patient an injection of regenerative fluid derived from human stem cells. Technically, this is not a stem cell injection. It recruits like a magnet for your body's own stem cells. This particular product is axolotl, biologic product. This is an example of, of one of our products. This is a one milliliter uh, regenerative fluid vial. Dr. Rob Keller, PhD, is the chief science officer at Axolotl Biologics, where they make a stem cell derived regenerative fluid in this facility in North Phoenix. The same product Dr. Jacoby and many other doctors around the country are using to treat their patients. And the axolotl is a, a Mexican salamander, so it's a little bit of a mascot for us. The company is named after this salamander found only near Mexico City, the axolotl. In science, the salamander, the Mexican salamander out of Mexico City area, is known for its regenerative potential. So it can grow entire limbs back. It can regenerate its spinal cord. They don't have anything that can help a human regrow limbs yet, but they do make products that sound like science fiction. They're really used to promote uh, repair or regeneration of tissues. The subject of stem cells has always been controversial. Political outrage followed the early use of embryonic stem cells, stem cells from an unborn baby. If you're going to be harvesting embryonic stem cells or embryonic tissue, usually that's going to be um, at the compromise of the developing embryo. That's not what Axolotl Biologics does. Instead, it takes donated placental tissue, the afterbirth that most hospitals throw away. In our process, um, the baby and the mother are celebrating and the tissue that we receive is actually placenta. In this lab, workers process amniotic stem cells from donated placental tissue after C-sections only because it's a sterile procedure, and it has FDA approval. That womb environment or the in utero environment, it's one of the most regenerative environments that we know. It's screened and processed in this clean room and then placed in small vials that can be shipped out to doctors at room temperature. It's a stem cell-based product, meaning it was developed using stem cells from the beginning, but there aren't any stem cells in the final product. Dr. Jacoby says the fluid has amazing regenerative and healing powers. Achilles tendonitis, fractures, fractures that won't heal, cartilage, knee pain, markedly improved with knee pain. Or just ask his patients. Initially, I w went to a Mexican hospital and they did an x-ray uh, and uh, they put me in a cast and said, no big deal, uh, it'll heal, but it didn't heal. Michael tore two ligaments on the top of his foot playing tennis. Surgery and stem cell derived products helped him get back on the court faster. I don't know about the, you know, mechanics or the specifics. All I know is it worked. Um, I was diagnosed, I suppose it had been 15, 20 years ago that I had a peripheral neuropathy. Robert Kim has severe pain in his feet and hands and drugs didn't work. Well, Lyrica spaced me out so badly that they thought I'd had strokes. For the first time in years, he's getting relief from regenerative fluid injections. I'd go for another stem cell shot in a minute. These stem cell-like products are, are at the cutting edge of what we like to accomplish to get rid of pain. And with an opioid crisis still gripping America, treating the source of the pain instead of masking it with drugs may be the answer. We have this opioid epidemic and these poor patients are on opioids and other medications that they lose their balance, they fall, they can't sleep, so this is a great alternative. And that's really the end game is how we give patients better quality life, more options, so they can make decisions about you know what's good for them and what's good for their their lifestyle. Now that secret has been unlocked. These new companies are coming on board. We'll be able to live to 130 years.
within our generation. We gotta solve the wrinkle problem first. It's gonna look pretty bad out there, but it will work. Now the cost for a stem cell derived treatment can vary on the doctor that you choose depending on that, but it does average about three to $4,000 per injection. It is not covered by insurance because it's still considered experimental.